So my cousin reached out to me and asked me how I treat metal when I'm restoring something or rebuilding it. Actually, Rust-Oleum's got a few products that I absolutely love. One of them is Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. I will uh, show a bot, you know, a picture of the bottle, and you know, stuff like this. You know, this is an old alternator. I assume it works. I'm going to take this apart, clean it up, paint it up. I'm going to start by just taking a wire brush and a drill, and cleaning up the heavy rust and corrosion. Uh, the aluminum, the alu aluminum can be treated with it also. Uh, it's a little different process, but the same in most regards. I'll show you what I do. So, I have a, a bunch of different wire wheels for the drill. This is just one of them, where I can get in here and start, oops, where I can get in here and start cleaning the surfaces. Uh, that's just a start to get the heavy stuff off. I do use that, uh, that Rust-Oleum rust dissolver to clean all the heavy corrosion off that works really good so you can see the aluminum starting to actually polish a little bit with the wire wheel uh, but so I use this one to get into where the uh, where the pulley is the front pulley I got all the heavy rust off wire brushes on a drill once I get this all cleaned up now I'm gonna knock this down I'm gonna take this pulley off uh, take the brushes out you know I, pretty much doing an overhaul but this one works so I just want to clean it up so and grease it and check the brushes and everything so with a little bit of help from an impact gun and a 13 or no 15 16 socket that front nut came right off the pulley uh, I'm gonna clean the back side of that but the pulley came off and the fan and the front of the alternator still you know cleaned up a little bit I'm going to now put these four bolts here. Uh, I'm going to mark this because you can clock this in different directions. And I think the way it's clocked right now is going to work perfect for me. So I'm going to, I'm going to mark which way this is. Uh, I usually put like a little dash in the case housing so you can see it in the case housing, just like a scrape or an indent right on the ear so when you go to put it back together you know which one of the four clock positions it should be in this is the rust-oleum rust dissolver I get I got it at Walmart it's like 10 bucks I use a uh, brush I'm gonna spray half this pulley so you can kinda see before and after what it does uh, follow the instructions on the back be careful use gloves uh, it can irritate your skin cause I don't know chemical burns maybe but just be careful uh, I'm going to show you the result of using this and then we'll treat it so the rust doesn't come back or hopefully doesn't come back the way I the way I treat it and prep it and paint it. Got the Rust-Oleum rust dissolver on there. I was try I was going to split the pulley half treated half not, but it started running all over the place. It's a gel. Uh, I got maybe half on the back and I got it in the grooves here. Uh, I'm going to let that sit for approximately 10 minutes and we'll come back and wash it off and see what it looks like and we'll go from there. This dissolver's been on there about 10 minutes. I'm going to wash this off quick and we'll see what it looks like after. Alright, so you can kind of see where that rust dissolver was and where it wasn't. So it dissolves the rust pretty good. Um, it also helps treat the rust from coming back, which is what we wanted stop it from coming back. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more with a uh, whizzy wheel and then show you what I do to paint. Alright, this is as far as I'm going with the prep. You can see it's cleaned up quite a bit. You can see where that pitting was. So now I have a uh, procedure that I use with a propane torch and a coat hanger. I'm going to show you that and hopefully I can show you how it pulls out any moisture from the remaining rust and then we're going to treat it with uh, rust converter
primer. Okay, I'm trying to film this uh, with one hand and one hand filming. Here is the pulley. I got to get it in a way that you can see this without it affecting it. So I basically heat this up until I see the moisture come out of it. You'll see, you'll see it get wet and then dry again. That's what I want to do. Get this thing, you know, roasting hot. Get rid of the remaining rust or moisture in the rust. And once I got, once I have it on both sides, you know, heat it up. Obviously, don't touch it because it's going to hurt if you do. Don't burn yourself. Be careful. You know, wear all your protective equipment when using this stuff. Hopefully you can see what I got going on. Once I get this hot enough where all the moisture is out of the rust, this one you couldn't really see well, but if you're if you're treating something like this, you'll see it pull out. Uh, the moisture will pull right out of the pores of the rust. I got a little cooling dwell time because if it's too hot, the paint gets goofy and kind of bubbles. We don't want that. We just want it so that there's no moisture in there and that we can uh, prime it for the paint. Couldn't show everything. After treating it with the rust dissolver primer or rust converter, high gloss black. So this one I did a little, uh, show you something a little different. After I cleaned this up, uh, because there was some grease and dirt on this, I sprayed it with starting fluid, a solvent that would degrease and evaporate quickly. Uh, you can use acetone, just be careful because you want it mostly dry when you heat it up with a propane torch. We got this primed. Uh, once the primer dries, we'll top coat it. I'm not sure what color I'm going to go with yet. I'll see what I got laying around. I picked red to go with the red block. I don't know. Why not? I had red paint. Lots of red paint laying around, so paint the fan red. Could have went yellow to match the engine fan, but this is what it, I'm using. I dropped a little bit of ATF. You can use Marvel Mystery Oil, Penetrating Oil, down all four of the bolts by the threads. Let that soak, and I'm going to use a propane torch, heat it up, and use my impact driver to take those four bolts out. Uh, I did mark a little mark on the side. I know the thin ear goes where the stamp is. So, heating up this part of the housing to get that bolt out. Uh, it's an 8mm, actually, it's probably 930 seconds, but 8mm works too for this bolt on this GM alternator. Heating up this part of the alternator to take the bolt out. It's uh, 930 seconds or probably uh, 8 millimeters going to work here in this instance. I'll take this out, take all four of them out, I'll show you what we got. Alright, that's out. Okay, now I got all four bolts out. I'm going to tap on these wings. There's a spacer here. You got to be careful. You have to use that spacer in the right position that spaces your pulley to the body. Uh, I'm going to knock this apart and we'll take a look at what we got. Right, so the uh, rectifier bridge, it's all crusty but we're going to clean that up. The brushes don't look bad. Um, we're going to take all this apart. This is that spacer I was trying to mention that goes in the front of the housing against the bearing that's got to be there uh, and the armature. We're going to clean that up, clean up those contacts. Those two rings are where the brushes ride. Those have to be clean. So we're going to clean up the armature. Maybe we'll put a coat of black on it. Uh, we'll clean up the housings. The bearing feels good, so we're going to, well, we're just going to go with that bearing. We'll pack it with grease. We'll put grease in this bearing, clean everything up. There, this alternator is easy to get to. Uh, you can easily get a new one. I'm just cleaning this up for my Volvo project. I did find this bolt <laughs> is broken off in here. So I'm going to clean that up, weld a nut to it, and pull that bolt out. See if I can show that too. Okay, I'm going to weld a nut onto that broken bolt here to get that out. 
And this probably was rebuilt just before t being taken out of service. Always been sitting a while without that bearing out. Uh, you can replace this bearing. They're fairly cheap. Um, the bearing I got feels good. I'm just going to take off the seal cover and clean it and pack it with fresh grease. Maybe I'll get that bolt out, but it's been like that for a while, so not too worried about it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, I got the MIG welder set up. I'm going to put a nut on here and weld it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you welding it, but that's basically what I'm going to do is add some wire to that broken off bolt and weld it to that nut. The heat with my impact, it should come right out, hopefully. I tried to show it while it's still hot, but it's not still hot. I will uh, try to take that out now. Get me aluminum some more. Then we're going to use my impact driver to take that out, hopefully. Hopefully it'll come out. We'll show this coming out, but... Whoops. It's kind of jumping around. Yeah, that came out. Came out. Bolt hole is clear. Now I'll just clean that up. That's ready for paint almost. All right, I took this seal cover off. Looks fairly clean in there, but I'm going to clean this out. Put some ATF in there, which is my favorite fluid. Uh, blow that all out, pack it with fresh grease, and put it back together. Packed with fresh grease, I'll put the dust cover back on. Some might ask, why bother even doing all this? You can get an alternator ready to go online. Well, I'm kind of old school. I like to reuse, rebuild, rather than replace all the time. And it might be a little cheap. So, anyways, this alternator is going to work fine for our Volvo project. Freshly packed bearing. Good as new. I got that tiny one out too. That was a little tougher. It's tough to see, but that one bolt hole was broken off flush. Use the old weld the nut on trick to get it out. So all the bolts that were broken off are out. The aluminum you do a little bit different with the uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. I wash this with soap and water, like um, dishwashing liquid, and then while it was still wet, now I got the uh, rust dissolver on there. I used a pick to get anything heavy out of the crevices. I uh, just want to clean this up good. I'll let it sit for 10 minutes and we'll uh, wipe it off, scrub it off with water and we'll use the heat with a propane torch and paint technique. 3, 11 30 seconds takes the uh, stator out. I think that's a stator. I don't know. I haven't rebuilt one of these in years. Uh, I used to work at a machine shop and rebuilt cylinder heads, alternators, and these were the ones we did all the time. These are 11 30 second nuts. Those three come out of the rectifier bridge. That little bracket is called the diode trio. Uh, I got to take these bolts out, and that will come out. Take these out, the brush holder and condenser, I guess. Take all that out, clean up the housing, get that ready for paint. I kept the voltage regulator, the brush set, and everything together. This is the diode tree. I'm going to clean all those terminals. Be careful not to break it. Uh, we're going to clean out that bearing, pack that with grease, clean out this housing. We'll spray this. That's an insulator. For, that's the hot probe from the voltage regulator diode trio stack. That's what gives you power. Hopefully this one still does. All right, let's get on it. Okay, I kind of want to show what it looks like when the uh, when the water, the moisture comes out. You can see that line. I'm just following it down, so all that moisture is out of it. And come back up here and do the same thing, and then I will paint it. This is bare aluminum or close there to it, so I'm not putting any primer or anything on it. This is uh, pretty much what it looks like. Gonna heat this up till all that moisture comes out. Kind of see the line forming. The water will evaporate and then we can spray it. Show you how it's polishing up just by using the wire or wheel. You can use a Dremel. You can polish this aluminum like chrome, but it takes a long time. I just cleaned it all up, sprayed it off with some starting fluid, blew it all off. Now I'm gonna heat it up. Maybe you'll be able to see what I'm heating. Alright, here we go. We 
can start to see the moisture come out of it, and there's a line that's walking. I'm heating all that up until all the moisture's out. I'll give it a little bit of a cool soak, and then I'll spray it with the paper, spray paint, which will stick to this thing like it's baked. Because essentially it is kind of baked in there. I just drove the bearing back in the front housing, and I'm going to put the uh, bearing holder in. I got a new bolt for the one that was broken. I'll put these in, and then I'll start assembling the back half where the uh, voltage regulator and everything is. Just wanted to show kind of how it goes. Got the housing painted. We got the uh, fire bridge all in. Voltage regulator. Getting ready to put the now. If you notice, the brushes are put in the holder with the spring with a paper clip holding the brushes in place that gets removed once it's put together. Okay, here's the final assembled product. The alternator taken apart, all the contacts cleaned and checked, brushes, everything looks good now. I'm going to mount this in the car and wire it up. Fitting it to my 1964 PV 544 Volvo. That's what the alternator looks like uh, installed. I gotta get a longer belt. So, GM alternator in a PV544. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.